People find their careers in different ways. Maybe they dreamed about it as a kid or followed in the footsteps of a family member, but it was illness that led Mike Costello to become an x-ray tech. I have Crohn's disease and it's just a chronic illness that never goes away. I always got brought down to the x-ray department to take x-rays of my stomach and whatnot and it looked like an easy job so I figured I could do it and it turned out anything but easy. Mike's diagnosis caused his whole life to change when he was a junior in high school. Instead of playing sports like baseball and basketball, he spent a lot of time resting, which was hard for such an active guy. After two years, after playing pretty regularly and being a key part of the team, just gets taken away and, and then when you're sick, hearing about all your friends doing this and doing that. He thought about all the time he spent getting x-rays as a patient, which led him to the radiologic technology program at South Suburban College. With all the challenging coursework, Mike found himself struggling at times. Stress is not really good for Crohn's, and of course, taking tests is very stressful, so that kind of put a double whammy on it. He was hospitalized a couple of times. He had concerns, and I had put it to rest right away that, you know, we could work with him. We, we caught him up. The only thing he had to make up was his clinical time. Sherry is the best. She would always email back right away. Uh, if you had a question and she was just always pretty much there. She gives you the best opportunity to succeed and she's probably the, one of the best teachers I've ever had. After Mike graduated from SSC, he was hired at Ingalls Family Care Center where he did some of his clinical work. Now he gives back to the healthcare community that helped him get back on his feet. So you have to always be aware of what, what's going on. Uh, one time a six foot two patient about um, I was looking at him, I was like, are you still with me? And he goes, yeah, and then all of a sudden he fainted into my arms, so I had to put him in a chair. Luckily, I put it right there, because I was kind of aware that he might be a little uneasy, so I put the chair in, opened the door, and called the doctor. I realized I was an easy patient, and there's a lot of patients who are not easy at all. You don't know if a chest x-ray is coming in, or a foot, or you know, an ankle, or, or whatever, so you have to have all that information in your brain at all times. Students like Mike excel because they can retain all that information and they're ready for whatever comes through the door. Since I've been sick, I'm a little more aware than aware of most people would be about people's illnesses, so I, you know, I empathize with them a little bit. It gives me more pleasure to help somebody out who's sick. His outgoing personality has given him quite the reputation with his patients at the clinic. They call me Patch Adams of X-ray. Some people say, I wasn't aware that I was going to get an x-ray with a comedian, so I really like uh, cracking them up. Mike enjoys making the best of a situation any way he can. When he found out about Camp Oasis, a week-long event established by the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America, he couldn't wait to become a counselor for kids suffering with the same type of condition. They want to go to a place where they feel comfortable, where they don't have to worry about uh, Crohn's disease as a title, and they can just kick back and be normal kids. In 2011, Mike got some ink as a permanent reminder of how far he's come. I didn't want a, just a bull's tattoo and then a Crohn's tattoo. I thought I would um, combo the two, so my best friend designed it for me. And uh, put the ribbon, the Crohn's ribbon on the left side, and it says fight like a bull, because that's what you have to do when you have Crohn's. <laughs>